Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea and today we're going to talk about star anise. So why star anise? Uh, this beautiful plant, right, creates a fabulous pod. So this is Elysium. It's part of the Magnolia family actually. And these gorgeous stars have these uh, seeds inside of them. This is the base flavor for those of us in America to black licorice. So star anise is not to be confused with anise seed. So anise seed actually comes from the parsley family. Uh, the star anise plant is a magnolia family. So how's that for fun? So this beautiful uh, seed pod actually comes out of Southeast Asia. It's native to India, uh, China, almost that entire region. It is used heavily in cooking in that region. Not so much here in the United States. And the reason for that, fascinatingly enough, is because the pharmaceutical company Rocher basically held 90% of the star anise market until 2002. So this beautiful seed pod produces uh, an intermediate chemical that allows for the production of the drug Tamiflu. Uh, and so the Roche Pharmaceutical Company would buy up all the star anise, which is why you wouldn't really see it outside too heavily here in the United States. Well, in 2002, they figured out how to grow that intermediate chemical that occurs naturally in the seed pod on a bacteria in a petri dish in a laboratory. So they no longer needed to buy up all the plant production out of Southeast Asia, or at least 90% of it. So all of a sudden, this beautiful seed pod became affordable and absolutely accessible to countries like the United States for culinary purposes. And so you're gonna see this beautiful plant pop up in all sorts of cooking. So it's beautiful, like a lot of recipes are out there, you can Google them. It's beautiful on meat, in soups, and of course, in tea. So this is the fun part of it. So when we go to blend with these guys in tea, we actually have to break them apart because these big stars, they float. Um, because of the capsules around the actual seeds inside of them. And so we break them apart into their individual pieces uh, in order to put them through. Now, yes, a lot of us are gonna cringe if we didn't like black licorice as a kid. Are we really gonna like a tea that has this in there? We're actually, it's very heavy bark, um, and so it takes a little bit to draw the flavor out. It's not to say you're not gonna smell it. Yes, you will pick up hints, right? We use it in our Asian pear and spice white to produce the spice on the back side of this. What is so nice about this spice is, yeah, you may, might smell the black licorice, but you're not gonna pick up all of it. And you're definitely not gonna pick it up in the flavor because it's a lot more subtle. It's really hard for the water to penetrate through this casing and into the seed. So it's not gonna draw out a really, really strong flavor. If you travel through India and through Southeast Asia, you're gonna find this in everything. Um, it is a very common spice in a lot of the chais in India. It is also one of the main ingredients to the Chinese five spice powder. Now, the thing that's interesting about star anise, that you have to know if you're gonna play with it, is if you're gonna pick it up ground, the ground star anise does not hold its flavor long. Uh, it absolutely will dissipate in a matter of weeks. So it's actually recommended if you really do want to cook with this, pick up the pods and send them through a spice grinder. Just be careful, don't pack that spice grinder. It needs a lot of room. These things are a little hard to break apart. Uh, but you can absolutely ground it down yourself and have a better effect and a fuller kind of um, experience with the flavor on it. So as you're out kind of exploring teas, yes, you might not like black licorice, but give star anise a chance if it's in there as an ingredient um, because it is subtle, uh, it's beautiful, and it does play well with other flavors. I hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.